Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another edition of Based Zeus. Today, we're going to be talking about confidence. Oh, shit, wait. This is Based Zeus. Fuck all that. No intro. Let's just get right to business. Tip number one. Be calm and collected, not aggressive and in your face. Think about James Bond. Is he ever in your face and aggressive about how awesome he is? Of course not. That basically ruins all the coolness behind it. You don't see James Bond swinging his dick around and trying to out-alpha everybody, do you? No, he's too busy doing important shit that matters. On a deeper level, these loud and aggressive outcries for attention show insecurity more than anything. Being able to be internally and externally calm, collected, and unreactive is not easy. Life can be stressful. Most people get worked up over nonsense like their food taking too long at the drive-thru or somebody accidentally bumping into them. Somebody who's content and happy with their own life will feel secure and confident enough to be calm and relaxed in most every situation. And that's admirable and attractive. The over-aggressive types are usually using their aggression to let out their repressed emotions from some other place in their life. Guys like this will start fights with other people when they feel, you know, disrespected, man, or other dumb shit like that. Like, sheesh, bro, just go into the bathroom and rub one out really fast. Maybe that'll get some of those pent-up emotions out. Fucking hey. You see, being able to have a calm, laid-back nature will speak way louder than any of the other words or actions could. And that, subtly, is what makes girls go crazy for you and makes guys around you respect you way more. Remember, confidence in your own actions and decisions without needing approval from others is the ultimate goal here. Not showing everybody how confident you can pretend to be. When it comes to dating and confidence, the most important person you need to convince to like you is yourself. Tip number two. Don't talk more than necessary. A lot of people think that the most confident and badass guy in the room is the person who's always the center of attention and always knows the right thing to say. But in my experience, the people who tend to talk the most and feel the need to be the center of attention 24-7 are the people who aren't comfortable with themselves and need the constant attention for social validation. Don't say more than what's necessary because when you do, you're most likely doing it to win people over instead of actually being confident in what you say and do. Tip number three, don't engage in pissing contests. You know the type of guy who always feels the need to one-up you or say what they're doing is better than what you're doing and everybody else. Yeah, don't even entertain that shit. If you're in a situation and you see somebody start to do that, you can one, totally ignore it and show that you're not impressed by their nonsense, and two, smile, nod, and then carry the conversation in another direction. Ignoring it is good because you're closing out their feedback loop. By simply not acknowledging it, you're showing the person that behavior like that isn't rewarded or cared for in your social setting or group of friends. This makes them less likely to do this around you in your group. The worst thing you can do is reward the behavior by saying how cool it is because then you're opening the floodgates for them to conversationally piss all over you. I advise against calling them out on what they're doing because it'll make them more insecure than they already are. They're more likely to get defensive than to have a sudden change of heart. How many times do you call somebody out in a group setting and they turn and go and say, You know, man, you're absolutely right. I was wrong about it this whole time. From now on, I'm going to be different. Yeah, okay, good luck with that shit. Besides, if you were truly confident and secure in yourself, you wouldn't feel the need to argue with somebody who's clearly insecure and in need of some self-love. You see it for what it is, and you do your best not to contribute to it without causing any problems. On a similar note, here's the bonus tip. Don't put other people down. Putting other people down is not only a douchey thing to do, but it's also a major sign of weakness and insecurity. I've never met a truly secure, laid-back dude who feels the need to put other people down or make them feel bad about themselves. What that really shows is that in order to make yourself look the best, you have to actively put others down. You should be so confident with yourself and who you are that other people and their accomplishments are something to be praised for, not belittled. Besides, at the end of the day, if you're not a god like me, you're all motherfucking mortals anyway, so in the end, none of this shit will matter. I mean, the real winner at the end of the day is always gonna be me. Based motherfucking Zeus. <laughs> Surely you jest, based Zeus. Or do I? Okay, now on a more serious note, that concludes today's video. I really appreciate the support and love you guys have been showing recently. I'm thinking of making some changes so I can make these videos as amazing as possible. I want to experiment with different styles of videos and different topics, so let me know what you want to see by leaving a comment below and I'll respond to tons of them, alright? And be sure to turn on notifications and subscribe so you don't miss all the new stuff I got coming your way. Alright? See you then. Zeus out!